Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this solid state drive from Kingston. It's a two and a half inch solid state drive, so that's the ones what look a bit like laptop hard drives in physical size and shape. It's the A400. It's got a rough read speed of 500 megabytes per second, or should I say the say up to 500 megabytes per second and read speeds of up to around about 450 megabytes per second but bear in mind smaller sizes may be a little bit slower but we're going to test the 240 gigabyte version today and see how it performs obviously prices on products like this change on a daily basis so best thing to do to look to see what price it is is click the link in the description below and it will take you to the cheapest price available online in your country Okay, so we're looking at the Kingston A400. This is a two and a half inch solid state drive and again it's from Kingston. The read write speeds of these drives is up to 500 megabytes read and the write to 450. Unfortunately this is only a 240 gig version so the read speed is only up to 350 instead of 450 megabytes per second. And the reason why we're testing the 240 gigabyte and the same on a few other drives is because a lot of manufacturers sell more of these than anything else and there's a good chance that you're more than likely going to buy this size. So rather than comparing and thinking you're going to get 450 megabytes per second by getting a top end version like a lot of testers do, we're showing you the most common one what's sold which is the 240 gig version. So it'll give you an idea how that one actually performs. So as you can see on the box it says up to 10 times faster, 240 gig, it's got a three year warranty on there, free technical support. And then on the back, it's lots of small information, what you can hardly read uh, on there, but it gives you a rough idea what you'll get. And let's have a look in the box and find out what's inside. Okay, this is all that's inside the box. There's no instructions. Well, tell a lie slightly. Inside the packaging, there is lots of information written really small, which you probably need a magnifying glass to look at, and probably no one will ever read. But the information is there. Uh, otherwise you've got your SSD there, it's sort of a greyish colour, uh, camera doesn't do it full justice but it's more of a, a grey with darker black writing and the logo in black as well. The other side, again not much to see, you've got their model number and everything else on the back there as you can see but otherwise not a huge amount to see, it just looks like any other two and a half inch SSD but it's in obviously black and greyish colour. Okay, so we did the testing with Atoll and Crystal Disk Mark, and as you can see here, using Crystal Disk Mark, we got 558 megabytes on the read and 508 megabytes on the write. And using Atto, we got roughly 534, 535 on the read, and then 516 on the write, which is actually a hell of a lot higher than the quoted temperature, ranged anywhere between 23 degrees Celsius all the way up to 33 with an average of 26 and that's over roughly a 30 minute period so that's pretty good uh, and it's nice to see that they have got a temperature sensor inside the drive because a lot of two and a half inch value drives do not what we're going to do now is copy this folder uh, on to the actual drive to test the write speeds uh, it's as you can see there 3233 items so it gives you a rough idea and as you can see the speeds averaging out at roughly 470 ish megabytes per second and that's writing the information to the SSD what we do now is rename this to something different so we don't have any caching issues and then we're going to basically copy it again onto the desktop uh, this time uh, this is reading the information off the drive again at the beginning it will be a little bit slower as it does lots of small files but when it gets to the bigger files you'll see the speed actually speeds up and averages out here we go around about that 400 megabytes per second you do get one or two ups and downs in the testing though so down to comparing it to other drives, all testing is done on exactly the same machine using the same cable, same software, same updates and so forth. So everything's as identical as can be. And as you can see there, the Kingston did pretty well and it wasn't the fastest, but not far from it within a percentage of the uh, fastest one. So uh, you can't complain there. And that's on the read speeds using Crystal Disk Mark. Now on to the write speeds using Crystal Disk Mark. And you can see it actually got five. 508 megabytes per second so that's actually pretty good considering the quote for the 250 gig version only 
350 so it's actually getting a lot faster than what they are quoting now next on to atto so again we test the read speed uh, and on here you can see the read speed comes in pretty much near enough the top of the board again with the only thing really beating it is the lexar and a few others drawing in roughly the same sort of score and again it's all within one percent roughly with most of the drives so you can't complain too much at that and again on this next test we're going to use atto again but using the write speed so this will give you a rough idea how fast this drive writes and again 516 megabytes per second it was one of the faster drives as well which is quite surprising considering the only quote 350 megabytes per second on the write speed